Alright, what's up guys, this is Richard, and um, in this one we're just going to be going over style. Uh, some basic things about style, uh, why you should do it, why it's helpful, and things like that. So let's go ahead and make a public class style. Now don't worry about command prompt for this one because we're not going to be compiling anything. So just go ahead and save it as style.java or whatever you want to save it as. And then go ahead and make your main method. Wait, really? We're excited void main. Alright. Args. Alright. So, basically what style is, we've been doing style. It's, um... Because the computer doesn't really care too much about style it really doesn't care about it at all if we had our code like this the computer will read it perfectly fine but you know when you have another programmer look at your code or anything he's gonna be like what the fuck is this shit especially when you have a lot a lot a lot of code which is why we have style and it's used for indenting and things like that so basically Always anything, well, not always, but pretty much anything that's in a brace is going to be indented one past whatever it's in. So, as you can see inside of our class style, after the brace, the main method is going to be indented one, and you mostly are just going to use tabs for the indentation. So, go ahead and just press tab once, and yeah. So, say I'm going to have something in my main method, I'm not going to make it into x right here while it's inside of my main method. I'm gonna want to indent it because that's just what style is. It makes it easier for it to read. Um, the only time where you wouldn't indent after a brace uh, would probably be in an array declaration and uh, probably an enum. Uh, you guys will learn about those later in the tutorials, but. You're never going to have a semicolon after a brace, except for if you're doing this, like, um, if you're going to make an array of strings, um, you're going to have, like, hello tutorials. So say you have those inside of your array, that's when you're going to have a colon after the brace and you're really not going to indent inside of the braces that is like one of the instances that I can think of um, but that's basically it uh, just always indent after braces except for a couple of things that you're going to run into like that array and um, yeah you know that's basically it <sighs> Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else I could teach you guys in while well, about style. Um, yeah, just always remember to indent. Peace.